Why should I give a crap if Russia invades Ukraine? Well, you don't have to, but you may want to because it probably will impact your wallet. For the first time today, President Biden says he is now convinced Vladimir Putin has decided to invade Ukraine. It's just a matter of when. The U.S. Secretary of State even laid out how Russia plans to do it in extreme detail. Now, before I tell you how this is going to impact your money, let's acknowledge the thousands of U.S. troops who have already been deployed to Eastern Europe. The Pentagon says those service members are not there to fight a war in Ukraine. They're there to back up our NATO allies who share a border with Ukraine. So let's first be thankful for the service of the human beings from our country who are over there right now. Now, how it will impact your wallet. Energy costs will likely go up. Yes, that means even higher gas prices and home heating and electricity costs. Russia is one of the largest producers of energy in the world, meaning oil and natural gas. And if Russia invades, it will likely reduce the supply of oil, which could drive up the costs for a barrel of crude. Of course, an increase in oil prices will then increase the already sky-high inflation that we have been seeing here in the United States. Second, stock market volatility. That means your 401k and other retirement accounts that you may have tied to the stock market. Investors get very skittish when there's any sort of world uncertainty and war is certainly an uncertainty that would drive the markets down. Third, potential cyber attacks. Remember the chaos from the colonial pipeline hacking by Russia last year? Well, the White House has already warned all of the American banking, energy, and infrastructure companies to back up their systems and protect themselves against any potential cyber attack. If any of them get hacked, it may also drive up prices for American consumers. Now, Russia continues to insist they will not be invading Ukraine, but actions including additional Russian troops massing at the borders, cyber attacks, and shellings suggest otherwise. 